Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So as you can see I have a watercolor speed paint career this week and if you followed me on my Instagram or my Twitter you probably know that I've started a I guess a watercolor series based on the 96 line and I call it my sleeping forest series I believe. And I started back at the very beginning of February, I believe, or the very end of January, one or the other. Um, I started off with Wanu, and it's kind of like just a concept where the members are sleeping within kind of these flowers or leaves or like foliage or something like that and i kind of have different color schemes and everything planned out as you guys can see from the let me see if i can see this properly um the sketches in my sketchbook i do the sketch in the light color and then i do it in pencil and then i scan it i print it on tracing paper after editing it to be darker on photoshop i'm sorry if you can hear my laptop fan but <laughs> <laughs> um, but for like simpler illustrations, like if you've seen any of my 17 fashion illustrations, you would know that I actually draw and sketch directly on the watercolor paper instead of transferring it. And here I'm using my LED tracing pad that my lovely friend has given me on my birthday. Um, it's a really cheap, um, and easy, really light and portable kind of, um, tracing light pad or whatever but I use that to put the tracing paper underneath my watercolor paper so I can draw on top with a pencil and do very clean lines as you can see so working on what colors I'm gonna be using today so I've decided to whip out my liquid watercolors like I did for my Wanu piece because the way that these layer I don't have to worry about like the color underneath being picked up from the color that I'm putting on top so pretend if I put a layer of like a dark teal down I can use yellow and put that on top and it kind of just like transparently sits on top rather than getting all muddy and being picked up and making itself into a yellowy teal color underneath or like a green color underneath because these are quite permanent it does have a little bit of lifting but it's like very not noticeable so I do recommend that if you're interested in working larger with watercolors and you are interested in doing kind of this transparency more so with like larger washes and not wanting the colors to be picked up um, from the layers underneath, I do recommend these kinds of watercolors, but it is a little bit finicky to work with if you're not familiar with how just normal watercolors work because this is already in its liquid form. The color intensity is very, very high. And it might be hard for people who are not familiar with how to use watercolors to get the right balance between water control and the intensity of the pigments because you don't have to like reactivate it unless it's like fully dried. As you can see on my palette, I have a lot of like dried up colors because like I do use this palette a lot for liquid watercolors. Sometimes I reuse the colors and they don't reactivate the same way as like pan watercolors or like tube watercolors. So um, I usually like to make a fresh batch if I can, but I try to eyeball as much as I can how much water, or not water, how much um, pigment I'm putting down so I don't waste it. Because these are, they come in fairly small bottles, but you can, they last a very long time. <laughs> I've had these for about two years, maybe two years, just over a year, something like that. And they've lasted me quite a while, so I don't use them too often. You guys probably saw me use these for the other unit illustrations, so let's see. I didn't use it for the Moonwalker speed paint. I used it for only Come To Me, I believe. So vocal units, Come To Me, that watercolor illustration, that's the only illustration I used these um, watercolor store. And I think the 96 line with the candy jar, that illustration, I also use these liquid watercolors. But yeah, I did use it for my other one, the one of Wanu um, in the Sleeping Forest series. I did use it for the background for the majority of this. So as you can see, after when I'm done mixing all the colors, I watered it down quite a bit. I should have watered it down more because um, I probably would have preferred a lighter wash instead of this color because I forgot to leave or not leave I forgot to make sure that I was able to blend out the red tones with this teal 
And as you can see, I used an orange up on the top, which didn't look as bad, but it got muddy really quick because I didn't leave proper amounts of space in between. So I did switch to the red, or like that reddish pinkish magenta color a little bit later, but I'm just, as you can see, I'm using it right now. I feel like that worked a lot better. It definitely worked out in the end result, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that a little bit more than that weird rusty color that I used like I was using on the top left. So I'm just putting a simple wash on the back, letting the colors bleed a bit. Um, yeah. I'm trying my best to make sure I don't do any washes too much on June, because I like to keep them fairly bright. So when I'm working on just June, I've been using only the Holbein watercolors mostly. Um, there's some M. Graham and the Grumbacher Academy watercolors that are kind of used throughout. But yeah, and you can, can see that I used a hairdryer a bit off screen. And I guess it sh I showed a clip of it earlier when I was doing June's face. But I was using that so I could make sure I could paint this all in one go. I did paint it in one night, which is great. But yeah, I'm very happy with the end result, which is great. Because I was very, very, very worried about the background. But it worked out. Um, but yeah, I'm just having fun rendering out June's face and doing his clothing. So his clothing was something that was slightly unplanned. I had had different color combinations in my head, but I decided to go more with a, kind of like a warmer, I think I used brown, like or like a burgundy, light burgundy color for his outfit. So it can match closer with the berries, but for him to still pop out of the dark background that's about to come from the... What am I saying? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, I wanted him to stand out from the dark background because uh, initially I wasn't going to go as dark as I wanted to, but it did look better um, with the background being fairly dark. Uh, yeah, this illustration, I was very scared of how it was going to come out. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I talked about this before. Um, I'm usually not a fan of this watercolor paper. So this watercolor paper is the Canson XL 300 GSM. I think it's a 9 by 12, but I cut it down to be 8 by 10 or might be just A4 size. And usually, this is another reason why I like to use the liquid watercolor. It doesn't pill the paper at all with the high intensity and layering and stuff. I don't have to worry about the paper leaving like those fibers or like the fibers coming up, um, which is why uh, for the majority of the background and stuff, I would only use the liquid watercolors instead of my Holbein. I found that I usually don't like using the Canson watercolor paper because of that, like the layering would reactivate the colors on the bottom really quickly. So that's why I usually struggle to do sometimes like skin like skin tone, skin color for like my chibis and stuff. I prefer to use the Strathmore or the Pentalic sketchbooks for my chibis and stuff. It just makes the face go a little bit more smoothly as well as like clothing and the hair. This one came out quite fine. I had to do a lot of blending um, for the most part for the skin. It's still a little bit patchy, but it doesn't look too bad. And I'm just rendering out his clothing. So... Hmm. I was thinking I could get more watercolor speed paints hopefully out. Maybe, I don't know. It's taking me a little bit longer. I might put the... Hmm. It depends. It depends. I have something in March and hopefully if I do get into um, the thing that I applied to in March, then maybe I'll put the webtoon on hold and then I can just... Uh, mass produce a bunch of videos so I could have them consistently going up while I work on stuff for March but if I don't get in then that plan won't be yeah I won't I guess I won't do that um but I might go on a hiatus for the comic or something I just want to focus on painting a bit as well as making merch and drawing other groups because I kind of want to draw Priston and Red Velvet and Lovelies as well as Golden Child, I want to draw Monster X, Got 7 like, There's a lot of groups I want to draw, but like, obviously 17 is my top priority. And hopefully Priston will make a comeback, I hope they will. But yeah, as you guys can see the leaves are fairly dark. I actually go a little bit darker when I add the shadows underneath. Um, 
but this is what I really like about these watercolor, these liquid watercolors because of the, the amount of layering I can do with these. Because you can see I'm doing just fairly flat um, colors. Oof, my computer. That fan's really loud. Um, but yeah, the leaves are fairly dark and once I get the shadows underneath, it becomes less flat and looks more... A little bit more three dimensional ish like it has a lot more depth after the fact and once i get the berries in once i get the shadows on top of june it, like everything just comes together after i do the shadows <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed watching my watercolor process and just hearing me ramble a bit if you guys don't like to hear me ramble feel free to mute me <laughs> mm, yeah what was i talking about earlier but I guess like in the future, I would like to maybe I'll record. Um, I'm doing Woozy next in the series, so maybe I'll try to record Woozy's next. Um, if you saw in the beginning, where I had the thumbnail sketches, I had Woozy kind of in a leaf hammock thing, like hanging above. I want his to be like a night scene for sure, and I kind of want it to be. Or like an evening scene. I would like to have it to be more purple and kind of maybe purple and teal, purple and the dark blue or something. Because I had mushrooms initially in Woozies. I don't know if I'm going to stay with that idea. I probably would like to because for right, right now, I have flowers in Wanus, I have berries in Junes. I would like to put mushrooms or like little funguses, I guess. <laughs> little fungus. The fungi, fungi, in Aguzis, and then for Hoshi's I'm doing stars as usual. <laughs> oh, but you can see like right here, um, I'm layering that yellowy orange on top, and that's giving, I don't know, a little bit more interest like view colors and stuff. It just looks a lot better the fact that I was able to layer on top and it still pops through. Which I find nice. So here I'm just rendering the berries um, and that weird orangish berry right there. But I feel like with these bright berries in it, it kind of pulled it together a little bit. It makes it look a little bit less dark. And I think that fits June's personality more. The fact that these pops of colors are there rather than him being in a dark place. Because you guys know June. June's very pure and... I don't know, he's just a fun person. But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just trying to add colors. I'm here, like, I think right here, I'm adding a little bit of the shadows. Oh, I guess I added the shadows off screen. <laughs> Sorry for that. There was a lot of times where I zoned out and I forgot to hit record. So I just, oh, here's Wonu. Wonu's right here. And as you can see, I wanted to add dew drops into this illustration too just for to make sure i have a little bit of consistency so i'm gonna add that for june's as well uh one thing i forgot to do on screen is that once i lay down the white um highlights for the dew drops i forgot to do the shadows um on camera i did do them off screen so they are on the final illustration but on camera i just did this the why can't i oh jesus okay computer's lagging so much oh geez i do apologize that this video is quite long but i hope you guys do enjoy this video i actually really 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 like this illustration i like this a lot more than my wanu one um i had a lot of fun drawing june so hope you guys enjoy this um hmm but yeah i'll try my best to record the rest of this series maybe i'll record woozies and if I miss Woozy, then I definitely will record Hoshi. I would like to like, have at least two of these recorded. Um, but yeah. Uh, my brain's like fried or something. I can't remember what I was talking about prior to the concepts. Hmm. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm just finishing off June with the highlights. So a little bit of highlights using white gouache. I like to use white gouache a little bit more than my... Uh, gel pen just because my gel pen tends to skip a little bit. It's a little bit unreliable and It's kind of a gamble seeing which ones will work and which ones won't So I'm just adding the rest of the highlights and then we are almost done Yeah 
here is the finished illustration so i hope you guys enjoyed this one i actually really had like a lot of fun a lot a lot of fun and anxiety over this piece so yeah hopefully i'll be able to do a little bit more of these complicated pieces on camera one is just a little bit more straightforward but it had the same method of layering and stuff uh, yeah, I'm excited to work on Woozy hopefully soon. I'm gonna work on a few um, panels for the episode tonight for Webtoon. So, if you guys wanna check out my Webtoon, it'll be in the description and it'll be updated this Saturday. So, I usually update every other Saturday, but uh, conveniently it's gonna be this week. So, check that out if you like 17 and kind of like just the members fooling around. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much guys for watching this video and I hope you guys didn't mind my rambliness and my fried brain but Yeah, hopefully I'll be back with either another speed paint or another sketchbook doodle episode. We'll see um, Yeah, uh, I'll talk to you guys later and thank you very much for watching Probably talk to you guys early next week. So bye